Hi guys, in this lesson I'm gonna give you some examples of how you can apply the altered scale in 2-5-1 lines. In my previous lesson series I was talking about the melodic minor scale and I gave you some examples of the kind of lines you can make with a melodic minor scale on a tonic minor chord. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to continue along uh, with uh, some modes of the melodic minor scale and one of the most important ones is of course the altar scale. So in this lesson I'm gonna give you a few examples of how you can make some 2-5-1 lines with uh, altar dominance uh, and uh, show you some structures that you can use when you're making lines on altar dominance. The first thing we need to look at is uh, just to um, have some scales and put it all in a bit of a tonal context. So the 2-5-1s are all in the key of B-flat and uh, that will be in this scale. And uh, we're going to stay pretty much in this area, we're going to move a bit around, um, but around this area of the neck and the altar scale will be this. The first line sounds like this. So the 2-5-1 is of course C minor 7, F7 altered, B flat major 7. And on the C minor I'm playing uh, this uh, chromatic encirclement of the 3rd. So these four notes leading up to the E flat. Uh, from the E flat I'm playing the diatonic arpeggio, so that's just an E flat major 7. And uh, the line on the F7 altered uh, consists of um, an uh, A major shell voicing and an F sharp sus uh, triad. before it resolves to the 5th of uh, B flat. The second line sounds like this. Uh, so on the C minor I'm playing this sort of uh, C minor at 9 or at 2 or kind of arpeggio which is sort of nicely symmetrical across the fretboard because you can move it up like So I play a bit of that. Then on the F7 altered, I'm first playing an F sharp minor arpeggio, triad arpeggio, and then I'm um, running down a B7 arpeggio, which is the tritone, of course, of, uh, of F7 and also a diatonic arpeggio and F sharp uh, minor melodic and then resolving that to the third of uh, E flat major 7. The third example sounds like this. So on the C minor I'm first playing an, an E flat major 7 with a 9 arpeggio and then I'm running up the scale from the 7th of that arpeggio up to the flat 9 on the F7 also, and here I'm using um, again a B triad, and then I'm using this F sharp minor sort of cliche line, and then I'm resolving that to the fifth of uh, B flat major seven. So that was three examples of two five one lines with also dominance. Uh, I hope that uh, you can use some of the ideas uh, in your own lines and uh, use some of the structures and ideas for suggestions for arpeggios when you're um, improvising yourself. Um, if you like this lesson, you can of course like it here on YouTube uh, and you can also subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want to download a PDF of the examples, you can use the link in the description and go to the Fundamental Changes website where you can download it as a PDF. Um, when you're there you can also subscribe to their newsletter, they bring out uh, 
good quality lessons every week. So uh, that's definitely worthwhile to stay up to date with. Uh, you can also uh, go to my website and subscribe to my newsletter there. Uh, if you have any suggestions or requests for topics or comments on uh, the lesson, then uh, feel free to leave them as a comment here in the video or uh, connect with me on one of the social media networks where I'm on, like uh, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, and uh, let me know there. So uh, thank you for watching.